a person of that amount of power and prestige and financial resources. You are a millionaire. You will never want in your whole life. How would you carry yourself if that reality were true for you? How would you behave? How would you move if that were true? Put yourself there. Welcome, I'm glad that you're here. This is an impromptu video and it's gonna be fantastic. I'm feeling something and it's important that I share it with you. I want you to think about a person who you know or don't know who is famous who is powerful, who comes to your mind? Is it maybe the president, the vice president, you know, maybe a famous actor or a famous politician or a famous relig religious figure or, a, you know, a business owner like a, a Bill Gates, a Warren Buffett, and, and, and Elon Musk, uh, you know, someone who's mega wealthy, mega influence, mega powerful. Right? Think of this person. Now, have you ever seen this person walking, speaking, sitting down, getting up, turning around? trying to act casual or trying to act like they're an ordinary person. Maybe it's like the Queen of England or one of the princes or something, or like Kate Middleton or whoever, right? These people who have these high positions of power and prestige. How do they behave? Now my question for you, and I want you to try this. I've been doing this in my basement for the last 20 minutes. Wow, Stephen, dude, you are weird. It's okay. I want you to walk around as if you were that famous person. Walk around like you have the authority and the power of the President of the United States or the President of your country. Right? What does that do? As I'm doing it, it makes me stand up really tall and straight, good posture. It makes me walk more slowly and be more deliberate. And I'm just doing this mental exercise as I'm moving my body. But my posture and my gestures change because I'm pretending that I am this person. This is my office. This is who I am. I've got a billion dollars. I've got all the wealth at my disposal. I've got the power to do whatever I want. I am this figure. How do I move? Okay? The reason I say this to you is because when you are a referee or a soccer referee and you're on the line or you're in the middle and you're walking out, let's say, before a game or you're coming out there to set your bag down to you know, do your warm-ups before the game even starts, right? how are you presenting yourself? Are you like this? I feel powerful. I'm projecting power and presence and I'm owning this space. I'm emanating my presence into the space. Or are you more like this? Kind of, um, I'm not upright. I'm a, a little more slouchy. My head's a little more down. I'm a little more gangly, loud, you know, down here loose versus up and open and, and, and strong. Maybe your person was like the chief of police or, you know, the pres the principal of your school or something, but these people walk with a stateliness and a presence and you know, like you don't often see these people running around or you know being loosey goosey, right? Anyway, it's an experiment for you to try and then when you start to behave in that way, it brings about a different feeling and different energy. So I'd encourage you to explore that and to try it. It's powerful and it's it's real. It really impacts me. All right, folks.